a blue bedroom. I want a red bedroom, Mummy. I could never have imagined that eight years ago when I was renovating a one bedroom flat in Folkestone that I'd actually make a business out of it. And yet here I am in my most recent project, a 3,000 square foot seven bedroom Victorian house in Seven Oaks. It was derelict when I took it on and now, well, even though I do say so myself, is a stunning home for someone. There wasn't a decent sized bathroom, so we cut into one of the bedrooms to create this beautiful, very luxurious bathroom with Jack and Jill doors into the master bedroom and the hallway. The dining room went from shabby to chic. An upstairs bedroom went from dingy to a den of tranquility. The kitchen was too small for the house, so we moved it to an adjacent room and put in bifolding doors and then created a snug in the old space. And the bedroom went from dated yellow and blue to boutique. The lounge was lifted with an orange and teal colour scheme. I can now pop to Paris in one of the spare rooms. Bonnie loves her bedroom. And I now have an outside space where I often write my blog posts. Plus the garden has multiple entertaining zones. And now my dream has come true of having a house in 25 Beautiful Homes magazine. Should we have a look at that? There's my house. There's your bedroom, there's your doll's house. Hello Dexter. Oh, you're all wet. Dexter, not on the chaise long when you're wet. Get down. Dexter, down. Down. Ugh. I want a pink bedroom.